welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going over a little bit of a uh, progenitor essentia farm. Now this one is one that we have uh, talked about before. We did talk about it with uh, Proginium War and First Flower specifically in the uh, northeastern corner of Seraph Mortis. But now that we have flying, me, myself, and I, but also a lot of others in the community, especially gold making community that was making legendaries, we were trying to figure out, okay, how many progenitor essentia can you possibly get every hour now? Because with flying, you can obviously move around a little faster. It's a little more convenient. Maybe you can get some auras and herbs that you wouldn't weren't able to before. And, you know, maybe the progenitor essentia uh, amount that you could get every hour should go up. So we went out yesterday, well not yesterday, but a couple of days ago on stream, and um, it says yesterday here, but by the time you see this, it's not yesterday anymore. We went out on stream and tried to put it together. So here towards the end of the stream, I had done a total of seven hours. Now besides these seven hours, I did two additional hours as well after stream, and uh that totaled me out to another six progenitor essentia. So you guys can see that there are 20 uh, free there. So that means that 23.6, we got 29 progenitor essentia in nine hours, which means that it's 3.2 every hour. So that amount is pretty much the same as it was without flying. Now, uh, when we were looking through the actual materials and seeing how much we could get for materials, you get almost double the amount, if not double the amount of first flowers. And when it comes to the Proginium War, you don't get that much more. If uh, if you're in a very uh, uh, dead phase, if you don't have much competition, then you do get a little more. But the significant difference is only first flower. Um, so you get a lot more tries on first flowers. There's a couple treasures that you can actually get to now. That you were not able to get to before um but that's basically it we did a full nine hours if you guys have experienced anything else uh make sure you drop it down in the comments below but this is everything that we had everything that we could show for flying it does not seem like you can actually get much more than three every hour um, now something that is a little bit different and will still matter with flying is going to be the fact that because of flying a lot more people will go out there and actually farm. Now what do I mean by that? I mean that when you have a bunch of people that want to farm, if they don't want to do it, if there's no flying, then they're not going to go out there. But eventually as flying comes about, if it's a lot easier to farm now, then they will go out there. And it all depends on the gold per hour. And as long as Progenitor Essentia stays like semi-high, it's a pretty good gold per hour. But this specifically, we should still see the quantity on uh, progenitor essentia increase because of flying being a thing which means more people will farm um, but at, but as it stands right now it does not seem like you can get a lot more than three maybe four an hour uh, on average that's what you can expect uh, and that's what we, we did it for nine hours I'll probably do some more um, and then maybe you know put some comments in if we see any drastic differences but so far there are absolutely none but to show you guys actually how much we made, because I was selling it along the way, I was selling what we uh, were collecting up along the way, you guys can see right here that we sold for an average of 553,000. Now, if we take 563, I mean, uh, 63,000, and we divide that by 9, it is a 62.2k uh, golden hour gold farm. Now, this is obviously for my server specifically. And since uh, since the Progenitor Essentia was sold, it has the price on them has fallen a couple more, uh, a couple thousand, which means that this amount would probably be, you know, much lower at this point. Probably be, you know, 50, 60, 80,000 lower. But... It is obviously heavily uh, server dependent, but I would just like to show you guys how much we actually made. Um, and besides this, you also get anima along the way. I got around uh, around a thousand anima, uh, maybe a little less every single hour, 
which is uh, really good for mining and herbalism. And especially if you do mission tables on the side, then you can get some extra anima along the way. But that is everything that I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, happy farming. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.